Okay, here you can see when we drive a loco onto this point. Can you see it stops? Take it back again. It's okay the other way, but we do it this way and you can see it stops. Okay, so now we're going to check the track. Okay, now we've tested the back-to-backs of the loco and we're stopping just here where the track meets the point. So what we do is we put a spirit level here and we can see that's perfect. Move it down to the point and look, you can see see the bubble I mean that is miles out and I'll see if I can zoom in with another shot okay here's a close-up and you can see look at that track look at that that's miles out yet the track before is spot on so what's happening is is where it gets onto the point it's twisting the chassis of the loco and that's why it's stopping Okay, I'll show you how to fix this. Okay, what we've managed to ascertain is, in fact, the whole of the point, the track is, but the whole of the point is not level at the spur end. You can see it starts to come off. I mean, that is awful. That is awful. Absolutely awful. So we're going to sort that out. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is moisture in the whole area with piping hot water. Now with the point it's important to moisture in the whole lot because what you don't want to do is just dampen the part you want to move at the point and bend and twist the point because that's going to give you all sorts of other problems which you don't really want. Can we fill that up again? And so what you basically do is you just let it let it soak in for a bit. I'm not going to undo the screws of the track because the track is okay. I don't really want to move that. But I mean that that is absolutely awful. Where that is. So the first thing I'm going to do is whop a washer in there. And when it's piping hot water, it all comes up fairly easily. Still absolutely awful. Jesus. I'm surprised anything goes around there. It's strange though how sometimes you just get one loco, which is a diesel, which is unusual. Normally it's steam engines. There we go. Swap that in. There we go. That's better. See? It's nice and straight now. That's all it took. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. And you saw what it was like before. A couple of washers. Make sure that's, st that's still okay. And let's bring the loco around and see what it does now, shall we? And put it on the track at help. The reason it's off the track is I took it off to make sure the pickups were working on both the wheels. So here we go. And look at that. You remember that was stopping. Let's do it really slowly. I mean, look at that, not a murmur. If you remember before I actually put, I mean, how slow do you want me to go? I mean, look at that. In all fairness, it wasn't stopping going backwards. But we'll move it the other way now. And let's pull it back. And as you remember, it was stopping just there.
put it back. I think we got a little stop there, but let's do it again. I mean, look at that, nothing. Not even a murmur. And it, as I say, it just takes a few seconds. And I'll show you a front shot. Here's a forward view, and you remember it was stopping here. And the lights were flicking. And do you want to take it back, please? And go forward again. And the other way. And you can see that's lovely. Doesn't jerk at all. Open C21 and take it back, please. Take it back, please. Important to check that you haven't messed up the point in the other direction. And you can see that's. If you can take a little bit further back, please, next time. and the other way and you check everything because you can sometimes fix one fault and find you've got another close C21 and take the loco back please and forward one more time And you can see that's fixed. And what did that take me? Five minutes.